guys welcome back to my channel my name is Hanika if you're here for the first time go ahead like subscribe and share if you're already a family to this channel welcome back thank you for your continued support all right so on my channel I talk about a lot of things I do well I do DIY I do unboxing I do hauls try on hauls I do multiple things. Motivation is one of my biggest topic. I like to motivate others. I like to motivate myself, you know? But today, at least yesterday, I was sitting down, you know, right in this area, and I was thinking about a question somebody asked, and I wrote it down on this paper so I do not, didn't forget to do this video. All right, so today is the last Monday of the month of October. And you're not gonna see this until, I guess, the first Monday of November. So guys, we are here. We're alive today. We have to just give God thanks for every waking moment because you never know what tomorrow brings or the rest of the day may bring. So when you get up and you realize that you are still alive, you gotta give thanks, you know? I'm just feeling grateful and thankful this morning because some family are mourning. I, ha I know people that are younger than I am or a few years older than I am and they pass from sickness where you would think it would be like people in their 90s and all of that would die from that well back in the days but now the younger folks are just going just going but you know god knows everything Alrighty, guys so the question i got from somebody i think last week was you know if you're in a relationship with somebody what are the key traits that but the thing is you must know what kind of person you want in your life you know but the question was you know what should they look out for um when when they when the person approached me the person was like i'm miss anika i know you're a big woman and everything and you know me just want to ask you one question and tell me what you think about it all right so the kind of person that you'd like to be with you know the question, let me see if I, what should you, what should your partner be like? Or what should you look for in your partner? That was the question. So the person just said to me, well, I just put it in English. <laughs> the person said to me, why Miss Anika? Me know you're a big woman and thing and we just want to ask you, what do you think I'm supposed to look out for in a relationship? What do you think my second half or my partner should I be like? Or, you know, but you must know what your partner should be like. You know, but for me, I think um, your partner should be someone that motivates you. Somebody that understands you. So you got to learn. All right, let's go with the motivation first. So I have six points that I, there are a lot of things that you look for in your partner. Some people, some people have minimal things that they look for in their partner, but I think your partner should be motivating. You know, sometimes you come up with some ideas and you want the first person you want to mention it to, if you're in a relationship with your partner, you know, like, you know, what do you think um, about this? You know, I think about trying this and to see what it can do for us us what do you think and if your partner is like well if you want me to be then there will right there there will be demotivation there will be discouragement you don't want to try that so you need a partner that would motivate you yes there are things that you're going to try that is not going to work but try nonetheless, because you don't know what the outcome is going to be. So I believe in trying things to figure out what the result is going to be. You know what I mean? So motivation is one, is a big thing for me because I motivate myself a lot. 
Ooh, guys, I'm was just you, you see what I'm wearing, right? <laughs> so you know what time it is. All right, so motivation. In also my weight loss journey, I would like try to eat a certain way, you know. Sometimes I don't get to work out or sometimes I don't feel like to work out. So I try to eat a certain way to work on the body. You know what I mean? Because you got to work on the inside for it to show on the outside, right? So you need someone that would motivate you and even do what you're doing. You know, you feel more encouraged. You understand? So my point number two is understanding. You need to learn your partner, learn the mood, because there's sometimes I am in a mood that I don't want to talk. It's not like somebody bother me or something is on my mind. Is that I am in that zone where I'm just silent. Because sometimes you have to be silent to listen, you know, silent. And you'll be talking to me and I'm answering, but it's just like blank. You ask it's not there's no thought of whatever you're asking so you need to understand your partner there are times when um your partner come from work or anywhere go outside come back and something piss them off and they come back in and they have this mood you know you can try to figure out you know you see that mood okay so you know it's something that bothered him something that bothered her or some somebody say something to upset him or to upset her and you need to know how to approach you need to how know how to work around that situation you know what i mean and understand what the other person is going to do not try to make that issue about you because if your partner is explaining a situation Yes, they may went through similar situation, but then your partner take over the conversation. Oh yeah, me, I went through something like that before and no, listen. Yes, you went through something like that before, but this is not your moment. So listen, understand that that time, that moment, that mood that you're going through at the time, you know, work with them. You got to work with a partner no matter what. You know what I mean? work with your partner and my point number three is forgiving you know sometimes we are in our mood and we lash out you lash out on the person that is not the one that you have the issue with your your goal you come in and something happened with you out on the road and you lash out you need to know how to apologize sincerely. Not just apologize because you know you're supposed to. Not just apologize because you think your partner wants to hear you apologizing. But even if they do not apologize, you realize that it was something why they came in and they lash out on you. Forgive them. And when you say you forgive your partner, I mean forgive. As if there is nothing that you'll forget. Hot. You may not forget what they did, but you forgave them. Forgive them and move on. Yes, you'll forgive the person and then you might remember. But when you remember, do not come back. As long as you say you forgive, you love your partner, you forgive them. You know what I mean? Be forgiving, loving. Love your partner. You have some relationships that one, there is always one partner that will love the other more than all the other loves. But some people love differently. You know, you're a male. You do not love the way how a female does. A female doesn't love how a male does. But you need to show love. And you don't have to be saying, oh, babe, I love you. Oh, honey, I love you all the time to let them know you love them show it do stuff you know what i mean do stuff show them as someone would say well a phrase action speaks louder than words so do you know and my point number five supportive support your partner 
whatever endeavors, whatever project the partner is on, even, even if you know from heaven to hurt that they're going to fail at that project, support them. Be their backbone. Gas them up. Yeah, baby. I know you can do it. But they are, me are back you. Gas them up. You are the one that is supposed to be gassing up your partner. Gas them up. Yeah, man. All when you know say now go work. You see it already. You know it now work. Gas them up. Support them. Be there. Stand up back at them. Stand up side of them. All in front of them and say, come be a Do it, man. Come, you know you can do it. Support them. Come on. Support your partner. Always be honest and truthful. That's number six. Always be honest and truthful. I can't even say that any better or explain that any more than just what it says. Always be honest and truthful. You know it never work. Why, babe? You know it never work, but I support you, I back you. Why, babe? I see you eat the food and I know the food is not help you, you know. But look, still try, motivate them. There are a lot of things that you look out for in your partner. But if it does not serve you, and make sure whatever it is that you are not the fault. Well, you can't make sure. Try not to be. All right, guys. So this is just that little video. The question, what you look for in your partner. There is so much. There can be a part two of this video. There can also be a part three. It can be a lot of parts. But for today, this is where I stop for this video. So motivate your partner. Be loving to your partner. Support your partner. Always be truthful and honest with your partner. Forgive truly forgive because remember the bible says that the lord forgives you 70 times seven per day so why can't you forgive why can't you motivate be understanding because sometimes you gotta listen and understand what your partner is going through all right guys I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope there is a takeaway for you. Please go ahead and comment and let me know what you like about this video. Let me know if this video did help. Yes. All right, guys. So you be safe. Stay blessed. And God bless. See you in another video. Bye.